news updates. For one, you must wait two years for demand to be considered. An Asian man shoots two people and turns a gun on himself. Nkosana Makate grateful for support in Vodacom battle. The Municipality Demarcation Board says that the protests in Vowani will have to wait for another two years for their demand to be reincorporated into the Mokado Municipality. Vowani was put under the newly established Collins Chabani Municipality five years ago. Ever since, residents have been causing tensions in the area demanding to be taken back to Mokado. Police are investigating a case of attempted murder and suicide in Lanesia after a 32-year-old man came to a certain house and found two men and a woman standing by the garage door. He started firing shots and turned the gun on himself. Police are still investigating the motive for shooting. The two men were rushed to hospital and are currently in a serious condition. The shooter died on scene. The man at the center of Vodacom shutdown appreciates what he calls spirit of activism from South African citizens in supporting him in a campaign against Vodacom. He intends to take legal review with his employer to discuss how much he should be compensated for creating the idea of Vodacom Please Call Me 20 years ago. His supporters had taken the network until Thursday to pay him the amount he agrees or face boycotts with some customers saying they'll cancel their contracts with Vodacom if these demands are not met by the end of today. More developing news on that story in our next bulletin. Now let's have a look at sports with Ayanda Vesi. Thank you, news team. Let's get into it. Proteas crushed Pakistan by seven wickets in the final ODI to seal a 3-2 series win. The Proteas won the final match in Newlands by seven wickets after Pakistan made a score of 240 for eight. The two teams came into the final match being neck on neck with two wins each. Quintin de Kock made 83 of 58 balls, while Faf Duplessis and Rasifan de Dusen made 50 runs each not out with a partnership of 95. The two teams will face each other in the, two to, in the T20 series. Kaiser Chiefs goalkeeper Virgil Fries make, makes another mistake that cost them three points in the league. The citizens were reduced to 10 men in the 83rd minutes when Zugile Kewuti was dismissed. The 29-year-old goalkeeper has been drafted into the starting lineup, replacing the injured Itumele Mkune. Coach Benny's boys came to Johannesburg on form, having scored 13, 13 goals in five games and going unbeaten in six games. Kaiser Chiefs coach Ernest Mittendorp failed to hide his disappointment at the manner of defeat suffered by the Glamour boys and said it was unacceptable to concede in such a way. Today marks the end of the PSL window period. Teams, teams, have, teams have until midnight today to buy players they would like to see playing for them in the remaining matches of the season. With few hours left, there are still some potential, potential signings that could still happen before the window period closes tonight at, at 12 a.m. That's it from me, Ayanda Vesi. Goodbye. Boitumile Mukesi has your weather and traffic updates. And in your traffic updates in Parkhurst on 6th Street, traffic lights are not working at 4th Avenue. On Bayer's No Deer Drive, traffic lights are also not working at Milner Avenue. And if you are traveling to Pretoria on Eski and Patlele Drive, traffic lights are also not working on Park Street. Please drive safely. And in your weather updates, in Johannesburg, it's mostly sunny with temperatures reaching a high of 24 degrees Celsius. It's 24 degrees in Hillbrow, 25 degrees in Randburg. In Rosettenville, it's 25 degrees. And today, it's 24 degrees Celsius in Rosebank. That's it from me. Back to you. That's it from me and Jobek TV team. Goodbye.